Well, good morning. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set up your Google Chrome browser to handle multiple accounts. So if you and your uh, child are sharing an account or you have multiple students sharing the same device, you can quickly move between their um, extensions, their browser uh, setup so that they can have access to the things that they need to have access to and you can have access to the things that you need to with just the click of a mouse. So in order to set that up, we're going to look at the browser and we're going to go ahead up to this um, little circle here. If no one is logged in, there's probably a, an exclamation mark there. We're going to click on that and we're going to go ahead and come down to add and let's say you're going to add um i don't know john so we're going to add john into our uh, browser and john likes basketball so we'll give him a basketball and click add and you'll see here it says create a desktop desktop shortcut for this user. So it will actually put an icon with the basketball on your desktop if you choose to do that. I don't really like to have a lot of icons on my desktop, so I don't typically do that. I would deselect that and then click add. And then you're going to get this screen that says you can either um, sign in because you're already a user or you can create your Google Chrome account. Now our students already have their account, so we won't have to worry about that. Um, the credentials that you would put in then on that particular screen, if your student is an elementary student, which is uh, the elementary schools are the intermediate campuses, you would type in their student ID number at ELEM dot tombaughschools.net and then their password is lowercase t i s d and then the day month and year of their birthday with the day being two digit the month being two digit and the year being four digit if your student is in the junior high or high schools then their login credentials are a little bit different and it's the student ID at sec.tombaughschools.net and the password the same with lowercase t-i-s-d and the two-digit day, two-digit month, and four-digit year of their birthday. Once you have that, then they will have their separate line here on the list of other people and you can then toggle between each of these accounts and be able to quickly access the students uh, extensions and other tools that are available to them based on their tombaughschools.net account. So again, you're going to go up to this top circle. You will click on that one time with your left button. You will go to add and then just follow the little wizard along until you get the account set up. And from then on, you'll be able to quickly toggle between the accounts on this list and you won't have to wait any longer for their uh, extensions to load. If you have questions or want additional support with this, you can feel free to email me at Eileen Garza at tombaughisd.net or call me, that's my office number, 281-357-3140, extension 4138. So good luck.